Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today, we have the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine. And we're going to be taking some pics. But today, I'm loading up some Neopan 400. Now, this is back when Fuji used to make black and white film. And it's an expired film that by 2014, you can't get any anymore. I thought, because it's my only role, I'll probably ever get to shoot. Why not shoot it in Japan? So, since we're doing one in Kyoto, we're going to have some fun with it. So, Neopan 400, which is the higher speed version of Acros 100, it kind of reminds you of both HP5 and Tri-X. Uh, something about the contrast reminds you a lot of Tri-X, but something about the grain really reminds you of HP5, and it seems like it would have been a good middle ground for people that liked both, but for different reasons. And I myself am more of a Tri-X user. I've used some HP5, but I definitely do need a play around with it some more but Neopan 400 seems to be right in the middle as far as look goes but I don't like it as much as Acros 100 there's just something about the quality of Acros 100 which just comes off differently and obviously it is much finer grained Neopan 400 just reminded me of HP 5 a bit too much it has more of the HP 5 look than it does Trix, which if it was still around would be a great addition and even alternative to both those films. Like all black and white, you're looking for a contrast in your composition. And so you're looking more at the light as far as your composition goes and framing and just trying to find that contrast between the darker elements and lighter elements. While also just trying to capture unique moments with people because that's something that interests me about street is the people. The locations usually stay the same. They rarely change, but the way people interact throughout those locations is constantly changing and never the same. And so that's really what I love about Street. I really like this shot with the pigeon. It's you're catching things that quite often you were never going to be seen in that same way. And of course I did grab some landscaping stuff and some cool details because I was being a tourist and I want to remember these things. And there's just something lovely about the design of Japanese architecture and just their cities that it just has this really nice texture to it, which really helps when doing black and white photography. And also something about the light, even though it was like the middle of the day, it seemed very afternoon or early morning-ish, which just added a bit more to the image. And I know the developer you use to develop your film and just the way you agitate it can add a few differences to how the film does turn out. But I don't develop my own film. I have people I trust with that and they do a really good job and do really nice scans as well. So this is me going off the scans I was given. And of course, if you do this stuff yourself, you'll be a bit more knowledgeable in that area than me. But if you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a good film. I wouldn't call it great, just mostly solid and it gets the job done. And there's something a little bit different about it. And sometimes you do just want that little difference that separates you and your images from other people's. Unfortunately, this has a bit too much flair, so you can't really see what's going on. And there's something about people taking photos of themselves that I kind of like, and so I often get shots like that. Something about the power lines just being like that, I just found kind of amusing, but I guess if it works, it works. But yeah, this is a pretty short video, and yeah, to wrap it up. I do like Neopan 400, but at the end of the day, I'll go with Tri-X just because it gives me the contrast I like and the grain I like and you can get Tri-X fresh. Unfortunately, Neopan 400 is from 2014, so you do have to overexpose it a little, which is causing you to lose light if you need light. If Fuji are bringing back Acros, it's definitely possible that they bring back Neopan 400 as well. And so if they did, I would probably shoot it a few more times. But yeah, it's a good alternative or middle ground if you're trying to decide between HP5 and Tri-X. But like I said, unfortunately, it's not fresh anymore. So if you like the episode, let me know your thoughts on Neopan 400. Just let me know your thoughts on the images. And guys, feel free to like and subscribe to this post notifications when you want to know this new episode. I'm Josh, it's been crazy for a second, just get out there and shoot some film.